It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hello, everybody. This is Tyler Preston 20. Today, I'm with a special guest. His name is Juan Anton. He is a member of the Vox Party. And today, I'm going to ask questions in regards to his party, his policy, and his history. Juan, how are you doing? Hey, Tyler, good morning. Thank you very much for having me today. I'm very excited about this, this interview. My first question for you is what prompts you to be interested in politics? And what led you to join the Vox Party in New York? Well, that that is a very good question, uh, Tyler, because actually, although I have family that was involved in politics in the past, uh, like my grandfather and my grand grandfather, uh, my interest in politics was low, uh, mainly because of that. No, I I I always heard that my family that politics are not good. No, they're you you you. It's worst what you get, like what you can, what the, what you receive, no? But, but looking into Spain uh, from abroad, from, from New York, I saw that there was, there was something that I needed to do. Things are not working well in my country for different reasons. And I decided once I read Vox uh, program that for the first time in my life, someone was really representing what I was looking for, what I think it's the good for my country. And not only for my country, but also for the Spaniards. And, and I actually want to have a place to go back where I can raise up my, my kids uh, in, an, in an environment that I really think is the good one. I'm curious, what is the history behind the Vox Party? And what prompt Vox to open locations such as in New York, Miami, and Texas? Well, Vox, Vox is a very young party. It was founded in, in December 2013. 2013, uh, and it was funded by people coming from the uh, the PP, the PP in, in in Spain. That's that's the right wing party. Uh, there it comes through a, a reaction to the politics or the or the actions that the PPP has been doing during the the last years in Spain. No, and, and mainly mainly based on on their position uh, against. The independence, autonomy in Spain. You know, Spain is a state of autonomy, and there's some of them that are looking for independence. While it's just a, a small percentage of the population, what it's asking for that, it also it's related to the terrorist uh, band ETA that was that was in Spain several years ago. And 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 uh, the situation against what the traditions in Spain as the bullfighting, uh, the hunting. Uh, the Catholic uh, traditions, they've been, they've been, they was, they were under attack. They were not in, enough uh, defended by the PP. You know, that's that's the main reason why we think, or what they thought they should put something in place new. What we also think is that Spain is not well represented in overseas. No, uh, the, the Italians, the French guys, those guys have done a much better job, and there is like a black legend uh, coming from the Axon, uh, Anglo-Saxon. Uh, world about what Spain did uh, in Latam and in other pieces of the country. So, the team, the the group in the box has has decided that we need kind of of ambassadors. So so it's people that sit overseas, people that love Spain, and people that are willing not only to help the affiliates overseas, not only to 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 talk about uh, box with the media. But also to be the representatives of Spain overseas. So, so to to go to to conferences, to sit down with media, to to speak with the people about the good things that Spain has done for the world. There are there are a lot, no. So, so mainly mainly that's that's our activity, no. So, so three 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 ideas, so general ideas. It's one help our affiliates here, help the Spaniards, no matter what party are they form. So tell them how to vote help them with the with the embassy with the consulate and the third one is to to me with the media and to to the people in general about uh, the beauty of spain the history of spain and everything that we have done right in the past speaking about eta 
Is it true that ETA targeted many members of the Vox Party in Spain? And is it also true that you guys had many different conferences and meetings in New York, as well as Miami and Washington, D.C.? So, Tyler, that's 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 a very good question and, and also a sad one, no? because one, one of the former is um, Jose Antonio Ortega Lara, and it's a former Spanish prison officer who was kidnapped by the separatist organization ETA for 532 days uh, and 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 that's that's that that was a very tough so he's one of the members in 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 this in this in vox no and and he's a very 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 nice guy and very intelligent also that he's doing a lot of spain no and also santiago Vascal, um he he used to work in the Basque country uh, he's he's from there no and and the situation is is not easy there so Santiago has been under threat by ETA for many years, uh, and, and so so he knows he knows how what is to feel fear. He knows what is to feel fear for your family, and and, and obviously uh, there's a lot of respect for both of them here in Spain. Ivan Espinosa de los Monteros, that is our our uh, vice president of foreign affairs, was here a couple of weeks ago. He went to Washington. He sat down with some of. Trump's administration members. Uh, he also came here to New York, so we set up two meetings, one one in Westchester to sit down with families and, and to talk about the program, to talk about the situation in Spain, to talk about the situation in Catalonia. And we and we also had a conference in Manhattan in, in a restaurant. That was a difficult one. We have some guys uh, shouting and hitting the windows in in, in in the restaurant where we were telling us fast is calling us not nice things uh, there were kids in the in the meeting room so it was it was kind of difficult but i think it was very good because we actually had a very good conversation with the people that were interested we had around 100 guys in in manhattan and close to 50 in westchester uh, some of them in manhattan just left because they saw all the crowd in the door of the restaurant and, and they were scared and they shoot me a a message saying, listen, I'm, I'm not getting in. Uh, we'll talk some other time. But the reaction has been huge. You have to take into account that uh, a year ago, Vox had 4,000 affiliates. Uh, today, uh, we're getting closer to 40,000. So so the, the growth, the, the, the willingness of people to believe that a new party that represents them in Spain it's growing day after day. Well, when we talk about the reason why Vox is so interested in in, in having people overseas and a part of the, th of the three points that I just told you, there's two million Spaniards that live overseas. Uh, out from those two million, close to 200,000 are in the US, mainly in those three areas. No, it's, 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 it's Houston, it's Miami, and it's New York. So we think, we think in New York, uh, there is close to 60,000 and and that's a good number, and that's a good number. But not only not only is about the number, but it's also about the people. So no one has ever go out and help the Spaniards overseas. No one has ever. No parties coming to New York and saying, "Guys, uh, your vote is as important as the ones of the people in Spain." And 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 we actually think that that is super important. No? So my my role here is to also go to those uh, Spaniards in New York, and the same as doing in Texas with my colleague there, Alicia, and in Miami with Maria, uh, trying to explain them the situation. So, so that's mainly uh, what we're looking for with the international team, as you say. One of the more pressing issues that I notice among my Spanish friends when they talk about their politics is the issue of gender ideology and gender violence law. Can you explain into more detail what are those things? And then can you also explain into detail the position for Vox for those things? So in Spain, what we have is it's a, a law that it's called uh, violencia de género. And, and that law, uh, it's, it's, it was created to protect women against the men attacked. We think the human, women obviously, obviously needs to be protected and, and that's very important and they're suffering and they have been suffering a lot. But we also think that as the constitution says, is everyone is the same in front of the law. So we have a law that is protecting the women. We should have the, the same thing, not only for women, but also for men, for kids, for elders, 
for everyone in the society that might suffer violence, bio, gender violence in this case. No, so so we're facing situations where we're taking advantage of these laws, and women are just busting men, no, and 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 telling things that are not truth. And 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 the law sees the men as guilty since the beginning when it should be the other way around. No, no, no one is guilty until until it's judged. What we're saying is let's help the men also and let's put a very, very strong law, even stronger than the one that is in place, but that takes care of everyone. If we if we talk about gay community, uh and there's also a lot of misunderstanding there. Uh we have we have we have gay members on on Vox and and very active one and and very nice ones and 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 they're helping a lot to build what we think it's a good thing for Spain. What we are saying is that it's not the same apples than pears if we talk about names. No, so so the gay community is asking to call matrimony uh, the union of of gays. What what we think is that matrimony is something different. It comes from the past. It used to have a religious significant, and that there is a section of the society that don't want to use the same name for something that they think is different. No, and and there is obviously some difference between a hetero a matrimonial and a gay one. No, what we're saying is, gays and any type of citizens should have the same rights should be under the same law, she should have the same rights and obligations, no, both of them. And what we think is that we can create new figures that include this type of unions, this type of, 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 of people that are looking to have the same rights that anyone else. And that's, and that's totally fair, and we totally agree with, with it. Actually, we have one of those questions in one of the meetings in New York, uh, from a gay person that, that I was asking, what is it going to happen when you change the law and, 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 and you want to change the name? Nothing will happen. The only thing that will happen is that the name will change to separate and to, to, to have two different things. No one that it's historically coming through a matrimony between a woman and a man for procreation. And then the other one is a union, a civil union between two persons that are in love, no, and and that's 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 where that's where we are, no, that's that's what we're looking for, to cover not only the request or demands for one piece of the society, but also the other piece of the society that is asking for something different. As I said, uh, we have we have gay population in our in our in our uh, party, and they're doing a great job. And obviously, we have to defend their rights as much or in equal situations as anyone else. Speaking about love for your country, it seems still that the idea of patriotism is very, very controversial in your country. I remember hearing from my Spanish friends that if a person, for example, were to show love and affection towards like the Spanish flag, Somebody, I guess, separatists would probably just take the flag from them because they don't like the sight of the flag. What is the Vox stance on patriotism? At that, in that point, uh, I really love uh, America. So, so when you come here, Tyler, uh, the people have love for the country. They have love for the symbols. They have love for their f army. They have love for everything that has built up this country from 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 scratch i would say uh, during the last centuries no uh, and and no matter what party are you from the people love the flag and the people love the army and there's a lot of stuff going on around about them in spain that doesn't happen and it's a shame actually i'm ashamed of the situation in spain uh, if you wear a flag spanish flag in, in your t-shirt if 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 you speak or you if you hear the hymn you are considered a fast sims. That, that is changing. And it's changing mainly th thanks to Vox. Uh, I don't know the reason why some guys in Spain, and it's, and it's, it's not a few of them, it's just there's, that, that, that has been going through years, maybe because of this autonomy situation that we have and everyone doesn't really feel the flag as, as, as theirs, or maybe because of the civil war where the nationalist bank, uh, band was... Uh, was using the, the Spanish flag. I, 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 don't, I don't know the reason, but it is true. It is true that you can't 
wear your flag. It is true that there is not enough recognition to the army. It is true that uh, it is not recognition to the history of Spain. It is it is more like it is actually dangerous sometimes when you go to some places of Spain and you have a Spanish flag. Uh, you can get you can get into a problem, Tyler, and that that makes no sense, no sense at all. So, Fox is the party that most defends the patriotism, the most defense of symbols that wants Spain to be recognized as a nation, a unique nation that has a history, that has a flag, that has a hymn, and that has fantastic people living there. No? And, and we're fighting against anyone that says something different. Actually, uh, we are saying that we can't have uh, parties in the Congress that are not fighting for Spain, that are the one to become independent. That makes no sense. We we want to legalize any party in Spain that has the fracture of Spain into his program. And and that's something that we will fight for uh, because that can be that breaks the society that creates different Spains and Spaniards with different type of approach. That is something that we have to learn a lot from the U.S. You mentioned how your party does not want Spain divided into different Spains and how they don't want to be divided based upon different communities and how you want to be united underneath one flag. What do you guys think of Catalan separatists? Because back in 2017, in October, there was a bit of international news where Catalan separatists decided to vote to leave for independence. And I'm curious, what is your thoughts, what's the Vox Party's thoughts about Catalonia wanting to have a coup d'etat to leave Spain? Let me let me put you on an example, uh, Tyler, there. So, so imagine that at some point, uh, Texas decided that they don't want to be Americans. Okay, and, and, and there is 40% of the population that after years and years of being taught that the U.S. is not good for them, decided that they don't wanna, they don't wanna be Americans. And actually they decided that they're gonna use a different language and that no one else that doesn't speak that language can work in the public sector in Texas. So, so and then if, if, you're, if you're moving from New York to Texas uh, to work, and you, you get there and you see that you can't work. You see that you, your kids can't be, be taught go to school in English, but in, in Texan. You see that uh, if you want to open a business, you can't put the commercials in, in English. And suddenly one day those 40% people uh, decided that they want to vote to become independents. And while they're voting in an illegal uh, vote, they they pick up some police cars, some FBI agents. They destroy them. They hit them. They prohibit the judge to do their job. They burn up the American flag, and then they insult all the country. What do you think it would happen in the U.S. if the situation comes? But that is exactly what happened in Spain, no? So, so you have a region of Spain that has a small percentage of population that want to become independent without a logic base on history, because Catalonia has never been independent from Spain. And they've been changing the history, and they've been doing a huge amount of work and expending money of all the Spaniards to tell lies overseas. So that's that's the situation in Catalonia. So there is there is a huge percentage of Spaniards that live in a Spanish region, region that are not free. They cannot speak Spanish as they would like. They cannot have their kids talk at the schools in Spanish. They feel the fear of expressing their will, the, the thoughts and the thinking. So that that can be. Uh, from Vox, we are very strict there. Uh, not even not even with Catalonia, but what we think is that the community should disappear because it's expense that has no makes no sense, divides the society. We have to keep the folklore, we have to keep the traditions, we have to keep the history of each one of those communities that actually built up Spain. So Spain is nothing without the history and and, and, and of each one of the regions, no, and, and the traditions, the dancing, the singing, the food, the parties, the 
that's 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 what Spain is. But we can have a super expensive structure that not only helps Spain but it breaks it. That that doesn't make sense. No. So what we're saying is, Spain is one. It's unique. All the Spaniards are the same in front of the law. The Spanish is a language. There are some other dialogues that can be speak, but not as officials. And that's 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 where we are. No, that's that's what we think. We have we have to respect our history, speak the different languages that are in Spain. But anything that goes against the the country, that is something that can't that can't be protected by the law. By any chance, has the Vox Party sued against Catalan separatists for breaking the constitution? I believe it's Article, and correct me if I'm wrong, Article One Five Five that people try to cite for against uh, Catalan separatists. Did you guys sue them, and did you guys manage to win against any lawsuits? Hey, Tyler, I know, I see, I see that you know perfectly, perfectly our our situation. Exactly, that's that's 155. That's that's an article in the Constitution that allows the central government to intervene in any community uh, for for specific situations. No, and, and one of them is 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 this one that goes against uh, the the unity of Spain. Uh, actually, the Vox Party is the one that is running the actual judge, the actual trial against the secessionists that are in jail. Uh, this, these 12 guys that put together and that promote the illegal vote in, in, in Catalonia. Uh, Vox, Vox is very clear here, uh, Tyler. Uh, as I said before, we are not going to allow any community to break Spain. We are not going to allow anything to break Spain. We are going to no, we are going, we are, we are going to defend the Spaniards no matter where they are, whether they are in, in Catalonia, whether they are in Andalucía, whether they are in New York. The, 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 the state, the country has the obligation to defend them. No, uh, no, no, no men left behind. No. And, and exactly that's what we are looking for in this judge. Uh, the, the accusation popular, that it's what Vox has done in this trial, is there and it's and it's run by one of our most relevant members uh, that it's a very well-known lawyer so actually uh, as you say is the vox party the one running this trial there's other parties that want to take advantage of it but they were not strong enough to 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 face what was happening in catalonia a couple of years ago so that's that's exactly what is going on. You're right. Vox is looking to protect Spain, and a very proof that of that is that we are the accusación popular in the trial against these secessionist uh, politicals. One of the massive topics that is most talked about on social media among most Europeans, not just Spaniards, but almost all Europeans, is the subject of immigration. More recently, the British people voted against, of course having the European Union and decided to have a Brexit because of massive immigration. And of course, more recently, uh, the person in charge of the Socialist Party is in power, Pedro Sanchez, he chose to basically have more immigration to come from Africa, from the Middle East into Spain. What is the Vox position on immigration, massive uncontrolled immigration? And what is the Vox position on the European Union? So I'm I'm very happy that you brought that up, uh, Tyler, um, because there is a lot of people and the media saying that Vox is an anti-immigration party. What well, it is not the case. Actually, we know that Spain needs immigration. Uh, we don't we don't have as much immigration as some other countries, as you said, the UK or or France. But we have also some immigration. What what we are saying is that yes. Uh, we we want and we need immigration. First of all, we will be the ones deciding. Uh, the amount of people that we want to immigrate, uh, and we will we will also think who do we want to to come to Spain to live amongst our families to live amongst our culture, because we don't have we don't want to have issues. I mean, we want to have people uh, that understands our traditions, that that speaks a language, that that can help build up the country and not create issues or fractions. And this is why we think it's better to have immigration from our brother countries in, in LATAM uh, for obvious reasons. No, uh, First of all, because we've been helped by them in the past. Secondly, because they have our language, what it makes everything easier. 
Third, because they have our traditions, they understand where we're coming from, there will be no confrontations. Uh, if we talk about Islamic immigration, uh, we don't really think what they're looking for in Spain. And, and obviously, some of them come with, with extensions and, and contribute to the community. But some of them, they go through six, five Arab countries before getting into Spain. It will be easier for them to stay in those countries where they have the same laws, where they have the same type of culture where they have the the this the history no uh, we don't really think why they have to come to a country where it's many 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 things we don't have nothing nothing to do with them no so that's 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 what we think in terms of illegal immigration we are also very clear we are asking for the law to be accomplished and the law says that they can you can't have illegal immigration in spain no obviously you have to look case by case or or and be careful because there's families there there's there's people that will suffer but we are just asking for the law to be to be put in place and and those immigrants that are illegal uh, shouldn't be in spain my final question for you is what is the party's stance on radical islam and what is the response to people who say that your party is far right? So, so Tyler, uh, when when we talk about uh, radical Islamic, we are we are very clear. Uh, we won't allow any type of radical uh, Islamic coming into Spain. Uh, anything that goes against the the rights of women, anything that goes against the rights of men, anything that goes against our history, goes against our our culture. We we won't allow it. We want we want to allow mosques to be built with uh, money of public funds in uh, Arab public funds, uh, Islamic public funds, that 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 is something that we won't allow uh, in any under any circumstance. Um, in, when when people talk about the far right uh, or extreme right, uh, we like to think we are extremely right. Uh, we like to think we are of extreme necessity. Spain needs a change. We're getting hundreds of letters from Spain saying, finally. There's someone that represents me. Finally, there's someone that is talking about Spain, about our culture, our history. Finally, we have someone that I think I'm going to vote. A lot of people, uh, no matter what party we're at, they're going to vote Vox. And they're going to vote Vox because they want a change. They want uh, to forget about the past. They want to forget about the civil war. They want to forget about uh, the fight between women and men. They want to look forward. They want to have a better country. They want to have a brighter future for our kids. And, and, and this is what uh, Box is doing. This is why we're working so hard to to get together with these people and, and build a, a great country again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Juan Anton. I really appreciate you taking your time to be interviewed by me. And before we sign out, what is your social media accounts for Vox and your personal one? And how can people contact you? Thank you, thank you very much, Tyler. Uh, the pleasure is mine. It's been it's been great. I, I really I really thank your your very good questions uh, and your interest on on Spain. It's I really I really appreciate it. Uh, we are we are in New York. Uh, the people can contact us on through Twitter uh, at uh, Box New York and and also through email at New York at Exteriores dot Vox España. Dot S. So uh, more than happy to answer as many questions as as they want. Uh, we just want to build a better country for us and for our kids, and and that's what we are working. No, that's what we're working at, and and that's the the goal that Vox Party has from the respect and the love to have a better Spain for us and and for our international friends. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend I wouldn't trade him for another black friend Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler